Yeah, this is Don in 5 skt I wanted to show you an antenna I've got and uh, give you a few shack updates. Um, currently, I'm starting the grill to cook some cook a steak. But anyway, um, this is the side of the shack. I'm still I've got so much work to do on this thing. I I'm at the point where I need to go through and sit down and actually write down what it is that I need to get done and get a few things done. Um, I've got a lot of things out here to, you know, try and get back up. There's my 10 meter mocks and there's a uh, mass there that I want to do a review on. I currently have a 2 meter 440 on there, but uh, boy do I need coax. And uh, anyway, uh, I've got some, uh, you see the the white uh, coax lines there. Those are uh, some Messi and Poloni Sahara 7. And they're 150 feet long. And they barely get to where I want them to go. So anyway, uh, let me uh, take you out and show you this. Uh, I got an antenna that I am finding works really, really well. And man, I hope the sun is not in the wrong spot. I will do what I can to try and keep it out of the camera, but it's difficult. Uh, anyway, um, we're going along in my property. There's actually the pond. Uh, I've got to get rid of those stupid stick things. But anyway, there's the pond. It's pretty full right now. There's a lot of life in there. In fact, I just realized I have some popped popcorn. They look the fish that live in there like popcorn. Anyway, um... I've uh, taken a few pictures of this delta loop. I think the sun is behind some trees now, so hopefully this should be a little better. Uh, there's my 9 to 1. I think you've seen it a few times before. I probably need to take it bent down and move it. Um, anyway, uh, let's take a look at uh, this thing and see. Here's the thing. That there's the end of that 150-foot run of messy and plony and uh i ain't even quite there yet so i've got another about uh 50 foot i think of cable up coming out here so nearly uh 300 foot anyway this is the antenna and it may be difficult to see but uh there is the um there's the top uh, hopefully you can see the wire that's going across there and here's the delta loop. I'd say that's probably, well, I'm five foot tall and that thing dwarfs me probably 15 feet high on each side of those deals. Plus, then uh, the wire goes in between them and pulls them together. Because if you let that, that wire at the top, when it's not going, it will just take off. Um, and you, these two things will form a Y. So anyway, this is the, uh, and it's basically an E antennas. I'll drop a link. I got it at uh, uh, DX Engineering. Anyway, and here's the uh, the construction of it. Basically, you're gonna you just screw those uh, mast parts together or, or aluminum uh, mast parts together. Uh, you screw the ballon on. This is ballon they provide. It's a four to one ballon um, and you can see the connection points there um, hopefully and then uh, you know what what happens is and it's maybe kind of hard for me to show but I'm going to try so if you look uh, right up here you can see where I uh, bolted the two of the pieces together and what it is and I know you barely see it but there's a black line on the smaller deal, uh, smaller uh, pipe. And you pull that pipe out of the larger pipe until you hit that black line. And you do that for every one of these sections as it goes up. And that's how you know exactly what the measurements are. You don't have to measure this thing out or anything like that. It, it comes all pre-cut, pre-built. Um, comes with all the hardware. Even comes with the wrenches, although, the two wrenches that it came with, oddly enough, don't fit anything that I've got here. Uh, well, no, I take that back. It fits these bolts.
but I, it came with a bigger wrench and I don't know what that wrench is for. It did not come with a wrench for like these things, the smaller ones. So, of course, a pair of pliers took care of that. And uh, anyway, by the way, I've got this on a speaker stand. It's it's maybe, uh, I'm five foot eight. It's probably five, four and a half feet up off the ground. And then uh, you got this stupid piece of metal here that's almost in between the damn thing. But uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but I can tune this thing on 160 meters. And... Uh, uh, I it's it's rated up to 40 meters um, and then uh, at 40 meters uh, it, it works very well I mean 20 I, I've gotten worldwide on everything from 40 to uh, 10 um, my signal reports are really good so I haven't had any issues with it I, I actually have run mostly the 7300 um, and with the 7300, I'm only putting out 100 watts. I'm not. I I have a. It needs a tuner. Obviously, it needs a tuner. Um, and but it will tune 160. It'll tune 80. Um, it's n not good on 30. If I, is that right? No, it's okay on 30. I'm sorry. I work Japan on 30. Um, so uh, yeah, I can't think there. Yeah, I haven't had really had any trouble on any of the bands. Um, what I'm thinking of is the uh, nine to one. I've had some trouble with the nine to one tuning it. Anyway, um, this thing uh, is working great. Even on 160, I'm literally getting nationwide on 160. I actually have a, um, and I'll attach it to the video because um, I uh, posted this so Ape could see it. But it is actually, uh, I was able to work uh, TI-1 RRC on FT-8 on 160 meters. And I'm in Texas, and that's that's a pretty long haul. So it's, it's definitely getting out. I have not worked much 80 meters. I've mainly worked 160 and 12. And uh, on both of those bands, it works great. 12 is just one of those bands when... I was licensed back in uh, 91 and was so on the air quite a bit. I uh, really spoke, or I, I, I spoke to a lot of people all over the world on 10 meters, and I spent tons of time on 10. But uh, never, I, the radio I had did not work any of the work bands. And so now that I have radios with work bands and we're in a high solar cycle, I am. Uh, you know, just loving the work bands, especially 12. So um, I hope to get uh, DXCC on 12 before the solar cycle's up, but we'll see. I mean, it's difficult because I don't have a beam and I can't focus a direction, so I'm working what I can work, which is kind of, once you've done it for a while, you end up with the same countries every time, but it uh, doesn't matter. I still enjoy it. I'm also trying to get... Uh, 50 states on 12, but I'm not trying that real hard. It's just kind of like, uh, well, whoever's out there. So, anyway, I, I thought I would show you all this antenna. I'll, I, like I said, I'll post uh, some of the uh, things that I posted in uh, Discord, uh, some of the pictures that show me running this antenna, mainly, again, with the 7300. I have run power through it. Um, uh, but I just recently hooked up, uh, I've got an SP, uh, FA2K and, um, uh, it's got a built-in tuner and it, the built-in tuner will tune most of these bands. I have not yet tried 160 on the FA2K, but I don't see the point. Well, sorry about that. I'll have to patch this together. It, uh, I bumped the button and it went off. In fact, God dog, man, I mean, I've gotten much of anything. Anyway. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, wait a minute, it's not recording. Okay, it's recording again. Yeah. Anyway, I'll have to stick, hopefully I'll stitch it together and the other one's got some stuff on it. Otherwise, I'll be doing this again tomorrow night or tomorrow evening because I'm going to a ham fest. 
Anyway, um, I need to go uh, attend to my steak and get the grill going a little better and uh, get the steak on and enjoy my dinner and um, get ready for the HRCC HF net. I'm going to definitely run this on the HRCC net and I'm going to run power through it and see how it does. Anyway, this is Don in 5 skt and hope you uh, enjoy the update. Uh, if you do, uh, I appreciate it if you can like the video and, uh, uh, you know, share it and, uh, you know, all the YouTube things. Anyway, it's Don in 5 skt I, and I, I've got a couple more videos that I've got uh, uh, in the works. I just uh, have not uh, actually even filmed them, but I do have some things in mind that I'd like to show you guys. Um, so, and uh, one of them, just as a hint, is right over there. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you what you're looking at, but anyway, uh, that'll be a fun video. Anyway, 73 is Don in 5 skt November 5, Sierra Kilo Tango. 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 QSL, you're 5-9 Texas. Texas. 